Hey, let's talk. August 1st, 2016. Coming off of a client's project, I begin production on a full Seth Science episode. August 2nd, while in the middle of working on the episode and watching a dolphin documentary, out of nowhere, I get this crazy urge to write an evolution simulator. Knowing that I had a goal of putting up a new video every week this month, I said no way and I kept on working. Hours later, after maybe 30 stops to Google evolution simulator related stuff, my curiosity finally snapped. And from there, I only had two real options. Either A, explore what was possible with this evolution simulator project, or B, accomplish absolutely nothing from being stuck in a constant loop of curiosity until the polygorism project began. August 3rd, after staying up for some 30 plus hours, I catch perhaps the world's biggest headache to the point of immobilization. Guys, that headache was nuts. August 4th, I still had plans to upload four videos this month, but, but I decided to just replace this week's video with something to do with polygorisms because I was past the point of no return. My curiosity was already full speed ahead for polygorisms. August 5th, still steadily making progress on polygorisms, but then Diana hits me up to help her out with a video project. I then realized I will not be able to put up a video this week. August 9th, I finished Diana's project while making minimal progress on the polygorisms project. I also realized that it's been four days since. And it also starts to look like I may not be able to put up a video this week as well because I haven't even started the videos for the Polygorisms project yet. August 10th. I prepare to take a No Man's Sky break. Oh, it's like No Man's Sky doesn't come out until August 12th for PC. Well, all right, August 11th. I made great progress for the videos for the Polygorisms project. August 12th. I for real this time take a No Man's Sky break. All day long. August 13th. I tweet out, new video tomorrow, which to me, no matter what, now the video has to come out. So I buckle down and work overtime to patch up the Polygorism's alpha release and to finish the videos needed for a complete release tomorrow. But I eventually tap out at about 3 or 4 a.m. August 14th, up at 11 a.m. to finish where I left off, and some 12 hours later, I officially released the entire Polygorism's project. August 16th, I finish this video that you're currently watching. And August 17th, I get on the bus to San Francisco. Now, why am I telling you all of this? Well, I actually have this personal goal of putting up four videos a month, and one of which being a full Seth Science episode. And I actually had the plan to make this happen, but I lost focus with the Polygorisms project. What's your bro? What about the last two weeks of August? Just to make a fourth thing. Well, as you're watching this video, I'm actually out of the country for two weeks. It's the reason why I got on the bus on the 17th. And no, I'm not sad or disappointed or wish I can do it over or anything like that. My point is this. I'm often told that I work on too many things and that I get distracted too easily, and I'm no fool. I know that this is true, but most of my adult life, I've been doing what I can to adhere to this advice that I get so often, but no matter what, my curiosity always dominates whatever I try and throw at it to calm it. And you know, through all, all that, I came to learn that life is not about fighting what nature has made of you. It's about figuring out how to make the best with what you have. And that is why I have a YouTube channel. It gives me the opportunity to broadcast a Star Wars project one day, and then animate a Dragon Ball Z scenario the day after. And then the day after that, release a Matrix Simulator Fusion project to a bunch of ultra cool and super supportive viewership like you guys. And I can't thank you all enough. So in conclusion, I will continue to work on too many things and get easily distracted because simply put, I was born this way. Yo guys, I just wanted to once again say thank you to, to all you guys, man. Next month is gonna be the one year anniversary, uh, one year anniversary to SCFD Signs and I, I mean like, you guys are just awesome. As soon as I get back, I'm gonna work extremely hard to get out a bunch of really cool and fun full Seth Science episodes for you guys. But until then, remember to always feed your curiosity.